What is up guys, welcome back to another video, it's Omar Ramos and today I got Sony A6600 I was waiting to get this camera for actually a long time because I did pre-order it I want to say over a month ago So I was expecting this camera to come out since I checked on Sony's website and it said that this was to be released on the 21st of November So it's already December and it's taken quite a while for me to get it But thank god I already have it and there's so much features that this thing has that I want to get into. It's a really, um, it's a really fast camera, so I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it for you guys. So keep in mind, this is gonna be a pretty quick unboxing, and I'm not gonna test it because I don't have a lens. I actually could provide um, what's it called examples, but in another video. So I'll have another video up with only examples for this camera. Alright guys, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the Sony A6600, we're gonna go ahead and unbox this. I'm really excited because it's an email uh, camera for your email lenses. It has 4K HDR recording with HOG, so if you know about HDR, um, this is a pretty good camera. So we're supposed to have our shoulder strap. Uh, the battery, the NP FZ100, so it'll give you a good battery run for a good use. USB cable, the viewfinder, and the AC adapter. Really nice. So right here we got we have our A6600. It's wrapped in a really nice like. Uh, it's not paper, but it's a nice material. So the packaging is really nice. It's really heavy in my opinion. So this is just a body, no lens, but I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside. And I'm gonna open this. Oh wow, really nice finish. This is a really nice um, finish. As well as with the um, LCD, it retracts really really nice so I'm not gonna be installing a lens like I said but I am gonna be going over what this is what this camera is actually capable of and it is a lot trust me this camera could do a lot of things especially for its size like um, just look at it in the palm of my hands really really nice camera 4k HDR recording with HOG 11 stops per second 11 frames real-time I autofocus as well as real-time tracking it has a five axis steady shot so it's a really really nice image stabilized camera this camera can shoot JPEGs and RAW it has XAVCS XAVCC HD it has a video compression of XAVCS MPEG4 with AVC or H.264 and it also has AVC HD with MPEG4 AVC as well as H.264. The audio format is LPCM two channel stereo recording and with ABC HD it's Adobe Digital AC3 two channel audio so it's really nice. For recording wise we have a 4K at 30 frames per second with 100 megabits as well as 24 hertz at 60 megabits. 24 hertz at 60 megabits and going down to XAVCS with HD which is 1080p which would be 120 frames at 100 megabits 120 frames at 60 megabits 60 frames at 50 megabits and 30 frames at 50 megabits 24 frames at 60 megabits 60 frames at 50 megabits, 30 frames at 50 megabits, and so forth. So it's got a lot of HD capability, uh, especially for like live streaming or just encoding that um, video file. This is a really nice encoder, especially since MP4 is really, really universal. So this camera is really ubiquitous. It has an HDMI output, I believe right here. And this has a capability of outputting 4K at 30 hertz, 24 hertz, 
25 hertz and 1080p at 60 hertz interlaced 50 hertz progressive 50 interlaced and we have our 3.5 mic and our 3.5 headphone hdmi and the multi out the build is really really nice it's a really nice metal finish feels really really great so do the buttons So this camera is capable of taking SD cards as well as mic memory cards. I don't know if you saw in the box. It's got um, pretty much a description of what this camera is capable of. But yeah, SD cards, SDXC, SDHC with the UHS Class 1 rating. And that goes for the micro SD cards. Make sure you get a UHS 2. Uh, for memory sticks, you could put a Pro HG Duo, you could put a Pro Duo, and you could put a memory stick micro, which is an M2. But yeah, really, really nice camera. You can share your. I'd share my videos through uh, memories. So here's the sensor. Really, really nice. I shouldn't really be doing this, but just for the sake of this video. And back to where it was. So this camera also has NFC Wi-Fi to connect with your smartphones as well as NFC so keep that in consideration because this camera is really nice it's worth the money I paid uh, 1500 with tax and I pre-ordered it at Best Buy because I didn't really know where else to go to but yeah really nice camera I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on for you guys Alrighty, so I have set this thing up so we could take a look at our menu and we have our uh, file format You could shoot both you could shoot as well as Aspect ratio change that if you'd like you could also change the uh, I believe you could change the recording uh, Format I'll just have to find it, but I know for a fact you can Ah, Here it is so yeah, you can choose between 4k or uh, as well as your megabits and your frame rate. It's a really really nice camera It was worth the money in my opinion, but I, like I said, I really need to save up for a lens Just buy one. I don't really care any any lens just to put out that video for you guys, but yeah um, I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off now since can't really use it without a lens, right? It doesn't make sense, but yeah Good thing. I got this camera. So thumbs up for Sony great job on that camera and Thank you Best Buy even though sadly I had a curse out a worker i don't know man uh, i was just i was just having a bad day at work but i was i was calling him out i was calling him as i was working that's what made it worse so yeah uh, sucks to be sucks to suck right yeah sucks to suck all right guys so i managed to put the shoulder strap on it and i forgot to mention this has a uh, bluetooth 4.1 using the 2.5 gigahertz band so um, I didn't get to check if you could uh, like file transfer like a like an Android pretty much with the Bluetooth But I don't know. Maybe you could do that if you, you never know that would be a really cool feature But this also has NFC as well as Wi-Fi, but that that is strictly for your smartphone So you connect to this via Wi-Fi And the last thing I forgot to mention was the sensor that it has this has a Bion ZX uh, per sensor and it's a really nice one. It's really really fast in my opinion But like I said, I haven't got to take a picture with this so I don't really know yet But it is pretty nice. I guess you could say so CMOS sensors uh, a go-to in my uh, In my budget right now since I can't really afford anything better, but yeah these interchangeable lens cameras are really nice so I'll catch you guys in the next video. If you guys like this video, you guys know what to do. But if you guys don't, you know what to do. You could put this so you could vlog, and I'm going to be doing that. So, yeah, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Uh, please like, comment, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.